it's Ruth Roland with another installment in my Fiddle Backup tutorial. Playing backup is also known as comping because you're accompanying, accompanying a melody. One way to do that is with chords. This video is going to talk about open string chords, what they are, and how to play them. If you hear someone strumming a guitar and singing, or someone playing piano, what you'll most likely be hearing is a melody with chords in the background. A chord is usually three or four notes all played at the same time. Fiddles, we like to play one or two of those notes and we can choose them strategically, but we're gonna keep it simple. We're just doing open string chords. If a bunch of people are playing and someone's calling out the chords, or if you get a lead sheet, which is basically a melody with chord symbols written on top, or a lyric sheet, um, the words with chord symbols written on top, you'll see or you'll hear letters on the chord. They'll, they'll call out D, G, B minor. We're not gonna worry about the minor. Chords come in all different flavors, and uh, minor is just one of those flavors. We're only focusing on the letter for this video. If you see a chord symbol, it's gonna be a capital letter, which is what you wanna focus on, and then some lowercase letters and symbols and numbers after it, maybe. That's what a chord symbol looks like. We wanna focus on the capital letter. That is the root of the chord. That is the note that if you play that note, it's always gonna sound good with the chord. If that letter is the same letter as one of your open strings, and your fiddle is tuned the standard way in fifths. So if you have a, a C string, it's going to be C and then going up from there, G, D, A. And if you have an E string, the E. If your fiddle is tuned in fifths, you can play the root of the chord and then the next higher string. Like if you're going to play a D chord, you would play the root of the chord the name of the chord, D, and the next higher string, A. Together, they sound pretty good together. Both those notes are in the D chord. Want to hear it with the melody? One, two, one, two, three. I was playing a bowing pattern. I was using the shuffle bowing pattern. I, had, I did a video on um, shuffle bowing already, so if you're not familiar with it, check that out. Shuffle is a good standard um, bowing pattern to use. It sounds good with almost every fiddle tune, but you might not want to play the whole time. You might get tired. You might feel the texture needs lightening. So let's do off beats. When we play off beats, we're going to listen to the bass player or the bass drum. If, if you're playing with the drum set, they're going to be playing on the beat. Boom, boom. And you're going to fill in the gaps. Does that make sense? It's going to sound something like one, this. One, two, one, two, three. And with the melody. One. Two, one, two, three. And if you're playing off beats, you can do two bows on some of the off beats. Three bows if it's not too fast. Um, you can skip some off beats. You can sit out for part of the time and then come back in as long as you find the off beat. Mix it up so you can play shuffle bowing part of the time and off beats part of the time. You can do any rhythm you want. As long as you're playing notes in the chord or chopping, you're good to go. Let's try this with the rhythm shown. Rest, play, rest, two, no. one, two, ready, and rest. Now with the bass. One, two, ready, and rest. Now one more time with the melody. One, two, one, two, three. Now twice as fast with the two notes first. One, two, ready, and rest. Now with the bass. 
One, two, ready, and rest. One last time with the melody. One, two, one, two, three. So the letter name of the chord is going to be the root of the chord. And the next highest string up from that is going to be the fifth. If the root is an open string, your fifth is going to be an open string. And you can play them together. You can do shuffle bowing or off beats or pretty much anything you want. And remember, if it sounds good, it is good. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know when the next video comes out. We're going to be talking about how to build chords. See you there. Bye.